So we are going to talk about dynamic groups. First question would be, what are they? Dynamic groups allow you to group Oracle Cloud Infrastructure computer instances as a principal actors, similar to a user group. You can then create policies to permit these instances to make API calls against Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Services. So they behave like user, users, the instances, and they would have privileges which can command other services to work for them. And the services that support access by instances, so these are the services which can be triggered through computer instance, that is compute, block volume, networking, load balancing, object storage. So this comes into picture when you have to have a high availability. A instance could trigger a new instance when it goes down. So this way you can automate many processes. You don't need to intervene. That's where this dynamics group come in play. When you create a dynamic group, rather than adding members explicitly to the group, you instead define a set of matching rules. To define the group members, for example, a rule could specify that all instances in a particular compartment are members of this dynamic group. The members can change dynamically as the instances are terminated or added to that compartment. So calling services from an instance. This procedure describes how you can authorize an instance to make API calls in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Services. After you set up the required resources and policies, an application running on an instance can call Oracle Cloud Infrastructure public services. So removing the need to configure user credentials or a configuration file. So let's look at the concepts. So what makes up the dynamic group? So the first is dynamic group, which we talked about. Dynamic groups allow you to group Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instances as principal actors, similar to user groups. You can then create policies to permit the instances to make those API calls to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Services. So membership in the group is determined by a set of criteria you define call matching rules. So that's what we are going to talk about matching rule. So when you set up a dynamic group, you also define the rules for membership in the group. Resources that match that rule criteria are members of the dynamic group. So there are, there are certain syntaxes you have to follow, which we'll look in detail when we do the lab. Instance principle. So the IAM service feature that enables instance, instances to be authorized actors or principles to perform actions on services and resources. Each compute instance has its own identity and it authenticates using the certificate that are added to it. These certificates are automatically created by the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and assigned to the instances and rotated. So preventing the need for you to distribute credentials to your host and rotate them. So this is a brief theory about uh, dynamic groups. We'll do some hands-on so you'll understand it better.